Just gonna do a quick Aries extended for September here. Let me see what wants to come out. Spirit of gratitude, joy, love, and light, highest possible messages. Guys, hit me up all my infos below if you want a one on read one on one reading. Subscribe, like, share, follow. Hit me up on social media, across all platforms, running gun tarot, Aries. What are the most highest important messages for you, September? Okay, this is wish fulfillment. You're gonna find that you're gonna have your wish fulfilled here. This is powered by the number eight in numerology. So this is about expansion and uh, advancement here. It's about abundance and new beginnings, especially new, uh, I would say emotional uh, beginnings uh, in regards to how you relate to finances or resources. The star card in the upright is powered by Uranus. This is in Taurus, so this is shock and awe and surprise. And the star card is wish fulfillment. And eights are about advancement and progress and abundance and new beginnings. So I say that this is going to be a very solid, solid, strong and powerful, almost life-changing month for you, Aries. Um, you're really kind of showing mastery and perfection uh, over yourself. Uh, in regards to your spiritual identity versus your kind of man-made or conditioned identity. Maybe at times you felt like you were disempowered with the emperor in reverse, lack of stability on the home front in regards to finances with the queen of pentacles in reverse. Um, but you're leaving low vibrational toxic energies with the devil card in reverse. Um, the Three of Wands in reverse. Uh, this is a feeling as if an opportunity was not on the table. Um, but again, you kind of held strong and steadfast with the Six of Wands in reverse. This is a moral victory, a personal victory. Uh, you stayed tried and true to yourself, uh, Aries. Um, you're letting go of the past. You're letting go of barriers and resentments that held you in place and disempowered you. Uh, and, and for this, you're being greatly, heavily rewarded with the star card in the upright. You've zigged and zagged continuously, uh, avoiding uh, and, and making stepping stones really out of any and all obstacles that um, Grace has, uh, you know, placed uh, in front of you. But you know, she's done that, um, you know, accordingly so, so as to help your advancement and development. There's been issues toggling back and forth with your mind getting uh, in the way of your love, whether it be yours or your partner's, but you've avoided uh, any disaster that could come from that, and you're ready to clear out this chapter and cycle of working harder instead of smarter. Um, it's actually been leading to dissatisfaction here with the Ten of Cups, maybe over-promising, maybe being emotionally dependent, Okay, uh, you're fighting one battle behind your back while you're trying to grow in your money tree with the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. I feel that still grace and, and you know, those higher virtues of faith and prosperity and, and, you know, whatever higher power you want to call it, you know, they're always in your corner uh, regardless of if there's communication coming in or feelings of, you know, luck and, and what have you. Uh, there's a situation that is outside of your hands. It's not within your realm of responsibility. Um, I see the king and the queen of pentacles here. There may be a feminine energy that you're kind of combating here, but she's really just combating herself. He or she, uh, the feminine energy doesn't have to pertain to a specific uh, gender. It's just an expression uh, and a relationship really uh, with finances and resources with the pentacle nature here. Um, you're showing up as more of the masculine, stable, secure. Uh, you may come across negatively even, but that would be based on their interpretation. Uh, the Seven of Swords in the upright is being a straight shooter, being on the straight and narrow, doing things accordingly, and yet still someone is having an objectionable energy for you and towards you. Maybe you've, you know, communicated offers and, and semblances of, you know, peace trees here, but um uh to no avail 
Uh, so you've turned inwardly and you've learned to kind of find that emotional peace and centeredness within yourself and it's almost as if there may even possibly be a gap that's being bridged between uh, the two of you as you are on your kind of self uh, help journey uh, via spirituality sitting here as the high priestess in the upright the objective removed observer not taking anything personally being able to witness uh, disasters, powder keg, uh, blow-ups, uh, and, and being able to learn from those exchanges. Okay, this is having to do with reciprocity of resources or values. Maybe things are coming to a head and you're realizing that you don't necessarily sh share the same values, and yet you're still motivated and inspired with the Knight of Swords in the Upright to find your joie de vie, your joy, your grace, your flow, knowing that you know, this is not enigmatic to you. This is something that you know very well and you're very familiar with it. And you know how to tap into the present moment and you know that that's where the magic is. Okay, second and third chances here. This is also an evaluation from that higher power and you actually seeing the on the ground results and rewards as a result of you uh sticking to uh you know what you what you know and feel and understand and, and what you've accumulated over lifetimes of experience or the judgment in the upright is putting all the fragmented pieces together and really making a work of art out of it a stained glass window out of it um returning to your birthright all right where all things are taken care of no stone is left undone no deed is left undone here uh, and, and justice will be brought to you, Aries. So I'm going to leave that uh, with you, especially in the month of September here, uh, Libra season on deck. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, guys. Love you lots. Uh, on to Taurus. And, um, you know, feel free to watch all the signs because really, truly, we embody all of the signs from our head to toe. Um, Aries being the crown, the head, and, uh, you know, Pisces being the feet. Uh, there's actually a branch of astrology that uh, correlates all the uh, different uh, aspects of the human biology, um, correlates it with uh, the astrological alignment, uh, a la the... the the as above, so below creed, credo or, or modus operandi. Um, so all of the astrological signs are reflected in our biology. So you're going to get a gem. You're going to get a, something to take away. Or even if it's just for entertainment purposes, there's going to be something for you in each and every one of the readings. So I advise to, to watch all of them. Um, like, share, follow. Uh, you guys help grow the channel. Reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading. And, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better than ever in regards to, you know, this uh, occupation and, and my ability as a reader. And, uh, you know, sky's the limit for us. So, uh, you know, reach out to your boy. Even if you just want to do, uh, you know, a reading uh, without the tarot cards and, you know, spiritual psychological help, um, I'm here for that as well. I uh, appreciate your viewership and uh, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Love you guys. Peace.